Here is my third battle between the two theme decks, Garchomp and Hydreigon from Dragons Exalted. If you've watched uh, the first two games, you'll see that Garchomp has won both of them. However, the second game, uh, I, I did take back a crucial move, and Hydreigon had some terrible luck with flips. So you may be able to say that Hydreigon would have won that head um, had things been a little bit different. So uh, I'm going to essentially call this the tiebreaker. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna start off with that Cubone and put Gibble on the bench because I want Gibbles on the bench until I can get some Gabites up for um, the uh, Dragon Call ability. Cubone I can sacrifice. Oh, got some backwards. Oh, wow, there's a Zwillis and a Hydragon already. Four, five, six, Seven, and there is a basic Pokemon with Stunky. So we're going to put six prizes on this side and see who goes first. Uh, six to five, so Garchomp gets to go first. Draws into a fighting, and we'll headbutt for 20 because of the weakness. Draw, and uh, let's double check and see if we can't do anything else first, uh, which we can. I'm going to go ahead and play the energy search to thin out the deck just a little bit to hopefully get some good stuff off of that Sharon. I'll put that dark in my hand and we'll play the Sharon, drawing one two, three. All right, so there's a Gothita. And did I see a Gotharita? I did. So I'm actually not even going to bother attaching the Stunky. Um, well, actually, no. Yeah, I am, because if I can flip heads, I can discard that that uh, Pokemon. Or not that Pokemon, that, uh, that energy. And that could be a nice advantage early in the game is to take out those energy attachments since this deck has a hard time of drawing energy. And if you hear all that squeaking in the background... Oh, now I can't get it to squeak. Um, that's my chair. <laughs> so, um, I'll go with Acid Spray, which does 10. Flip a coin. If heads, I have to discard that fighting. And it's heads. So that's really going to slow down that Cubone. That's going to keep me in the game because if I had attached another energy for beat... That would have knocked out Stunky, or knocked out Stunky with um, the uh, weakness. So I'm going to draw into a Water Energy. But I'm going to keep on putting that pressure on. We're going to attach into their Fighting, and I will headbutt for another 20 after weakness. We'll draw into a Stun Kink. Definitely evolve. Um, but now I'm going to attach back here and evolve to Gothrita to start powering it up. And I'll use Smoke Screen for 20, and Cubone has to flip in order to attack. Oh, and it's poisoned, so it goes up to 40 um, for poison in between turns. And uh, I don't really have a poison marker on me, so actually, we'll use an upside down coin. So, poison marker. So, I drew into a Palpitoad, which does not help me out right now, so I'm going to start powering up my Gibble. Um, because even if I use beat and it goes through, it's only going to do 40. Uh, well, knock away won't do too much else, but, um, we're going to hope that maybe that'll work. Um, so I'm going to use headbutt and I need heads for it to go through. It goes through, so it does another 20. And, um, I take another, uh, 10 from poisoned in between turns. I'm going to play down that stunky. And attach an energy to Gotharita, getting it ready to go. And I'm going to play that Rescue Scarf, because that way I can take Scum Tank and immediately evolve it. And I'm going to use Smoke Screen again, which uh, knocks it out. And Hydreigon takes a prize. So I'm going to promote that Lone Gibble. Draws into a water energy, uh, that's, um, hmm. If I flip heads, though, I knock it out. 
Uh, so I'll do knockout, which does 10. If I hit heads, uh, it does 20 more, which does 30. And does tails, so it just does 10. And I really need a basic Pokemon on all the Garchomp side. Um, so darkness energy... What does this say? Isn't affected by weakness or resistance. I'll go ahead and attach there. Because then I can always retreat it later. And do smokescreen for 20. And hopefully this is a basic Pokemon. Oh, it goes up to 30 from poison. It's not. It's an energy switch, which I have no Pokemon. Uh, it loses. So, uh, yeah, I can try to take a prize. Um, actually, well, no, I don't have fighting energy. So, yeah, I can't even do that. Knock away. Um, it goes through because of the small uh, of uh, the heads on there. And now I see if knock away does 10 or 30. It does 30, which knocks it out. Rescue Scarf puts those two back into the hand. Those get discarded. You get a prize. Um, however, <laughs> Gotharita comes right up. Draws a card, which doesn't matter. Mind Shock, 40, game. Um, so we're... The, the first two games were actually, well, I guess the first game was pretty much a sweep by Hydreigon, but the, it, was a, it was a longer game. It took it some time to get it up and going. This was kind of a really short game, so we're going to just shuffle up real quick, and uh, we're going to see if we can't get one more game in. Make this video a little longer than, I don't know what, we're like 10 minutes in, maybe. I'm not going to worry about shuffling up too much because, um, you know, we didn't really get to play too much, so... Um, yeah. At least before on the first game that was uh, a sweep, it did have to take five prizes rather than the two <laughs> that was just uh, right there. a bit messy, but oh well. And let's try this again. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to go with that Cubone again. Actually, no, we're going to go with Phoebus, because it has draw power. Um, I'm going to keep this one in my hand. Let's see, 3. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a basic. Okay. Two, four, six, and we'll see who goes first. Five there, five there. Oh, tie. Try again. Four here, five here. So Garchomp goes first. The hand pulls a Garchomp. I'll attach for add a dash, which I flip two coins, and for each heads I draw a card. Double tails, so I do nothing. I hit a darkness. I'm going to play the Sharon to draw three. Ah, I'm going to play that Deano, because I think I have as well as I do. So I'm actually just going to let that Murkrow sit up there, and I'm going to attach for the turn, and pass. I draw into a Palpitoad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play that Spiel, and start attack... Uh, oh, that's not a Temple. Oh well, I did it. Too late to take it back. Uh, I'll do Add a Dash. Double Tails again. So here come the Double Tails. Um, Maybe that's payback for the Confusion Tales uh, uh, that deck had, or, yeah, the Hydreigon deck had before. So, uh, Vigoroth, which doesn't do me much good, but I will go ahead and get this ready. Evolve to Zwillis. And pass. Ah, there's a Temple. Um, so now we're going to attach there. Add a dash again. Ah, double heads. So get to draw two. Murkrow draws one. Oh, there's another Deano. Good, because I have another Zwellis in my hand. But we're going to keep on powering up this Zwellis until he's ready to go. All right, and pass. We'll go ahead and evolve to Palpitoad. As we know from before, that confusion works wonders. And add a dash. Double tails again. 
draw, attach, evolve, and pass. Draw. That wasn't this exciting. Attach, add a dash, one heads, so we'll draw, and that ends the turn. Attach and pass, draw. Okay, so here's, well, we'll eventually get some stuff going. We'll attach the fighting there, add a dash, draw one, draw for the turn, and pass. Oh, we'll definitely, hmm. We'll uh, do the ability dragon call for another gibble. Hmm. So if that deck can start pulling into some Hydreigon, and this deck, now that it's got its search engine going up, um, this actually might be an interesting battle. So we're going to attach the blend there, and add a dash. Draw two. Oops. One, two. Draw one. Energy search card. Very good. We'll take one of those, one of those, and one of those. And we really needed to start doing some damage on Hydragon side so that uh, Garchomp starts dr stops drawing all these cards. So i um, going to attach a Psychic to Murkrow, discard it to retreat, bring up the Zuelis, and we'll do Dragon Headbutt for 40 for Knockout and the first prize. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to promote my Gbite, evolve into Garchomp, whoops, attach for the turn. Oh, actually, oh, I did that wrong, but I'm not going to take it back this time. I should have um, done the ability first to get another Gbite, but I got a little ahead of myself because uh, I was so excited because Dragon versus Dragon, I'm hitting him for weakness. Sam Tomb does 160, which knocks it out. But the right play would have been to do my ability first. So, oh, sorry. Put up a Pokemon. Draw. Um, uh-oh. Now I'm having, now I have too much energy. Um, this is not good. I can hit Garchomp for 80 after weakness with Dragon Headbutt, and that's it. I'm drawn to the Phoebus. Um, I'll go ahead and attach to the Gibble, and I'll sand tomb for 160 for knockout. So there went all those energy attachments down the drain. So here's a lone Murkrow. It's gonna be another lone Murkrow. Um, Peck for 10. <laughs> Draw into Apom. Uh, evolve into Celio, attach, Sand Tomb for knockout, put up the Murkrow, and that's game. There are no basic Pokemon, so I can hit it for another 10, gets it up to 100, draw, attack, knockout. So overall, general recommend recommendation, Garchomp deck. That ability once you get one of them, wins you the game every time. The only reason I think Hydreigon would have won the second game was it took so long to get this one out because I couldn't get into the communication and just could not draw any of the three gigabytes. Um, that's the only reason I think this one uh, won. Or actually, but it really didn't win because I allowed myself to take back a move and, um, you know, took it out with Supersonic. So, uh, kind of two boring games there, but, you know, at least you have two rather than the one boring game. And uh, like I said, Garchomp, definitely the better deck. If you want to buy it, if you're going to buy a theme deck, go with Garchomp. So hope you guys enjoyed the, the theme deck battles. I think they're always fun to do. So uh, hope you enjoy.